the universe with its black hole condition was the first data point Haramain charted. He next added galactic centers and stars. They lined up in a linear progression with the universe, an amazing result. If the vacuum is the source of the division, then it divides in very specific relationships. The next step was to see if the pattern continued on the other end of the physics scale. Now we went from stars all the way down to atoms, right across the quantum world, from relativistic equation to the quantum world, and we plotted the energy level of an atom and its radius, and sure enough, the data point lined up again. Now that's a huge jump. And then we went all the way down to the Planck's distance, singularity, and that lined up as well. All the way from universe, which is immense, to a teeny point, billions and billions and billions of times smaller than an atom. And all this, all the data points in between, lining up so very closely to a perfect linear progression. Remarkable. Showing that there is structure, that there is order, that the vacuum is dividing in very specific relationships. And when we start to look at the relationship between the divisions of the data points, we found that the relationships were very close to phi ratios. The phi ratio is found everywhere in nature. When you look at your hand, your, the end of your finger is 1.618, which is the phi ratio, smaller than the second part of your finger. And the second part is 1.618, smaller than the third part. And your hand relative to your forearm, your arms relative to your body, and so on. Those uh, Fibonacci sequence or phi ratios are found everywhere in nature, in plants, in, in flowers, the branches of a tree, the roots of a tree, the nervous system of your body, all of the division that produces all of the arteries and the veins of your body and so on, all phi ratios, all Fibonacci series.